If you're looking for a new car that seats up to four, has gorgeous leather interior, advanced safety, can do zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds, and can do big smoky burnouts all day long. You only have one choice. This is the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. Oh, and this, our 500th episode! <laughs> Born out of Dodge's SRT division, this Challenger Hellcat Red Eye is the latest in the growing family of Hellcat vehicles. The Hellcat Red Eye starts at about $59,000. <laughs> However, this one is loaded. We're talking $90,000. So what do you get for that extra money? You actually get quite a lot. You get these stripes. This one is also equipped with the wide body option. That alone is a $6,000 feature. It increases the stance by three and a half inches. It also gives you different wheels and tires. That's important. In addition, this vehicle has active safety like blind spot monitoring, collision detection, and that really nice Laguna leather interior. So overall, you're looking at a vehicle that is about to the price of a Demon from last year. However, this is the fully loaded one. You put all this stuff in a Demon, you're looking at over 100,000, but it doesn't really matter anyway because you can't buy a Demon. Under the hood is a whopper of an engine. This is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 that puts down 797 horsepower. It's based on the Hellcat engine, but the kids at SRT have fitted it with a larger supercharger, stronger connecting rods and pistons. Then they cranked up the boost from about 11 and a half to 14 and a half PSI. To handle the extra power, the eight speed automatic has an upgraded torque converter. If you want a manual transmission, you'll unfortunately have to stick to a standard Hellcat. The Red Eye doesn't get that option. Though you rarely don't talk about MPG with a beast like this, it is worth noting that the EPA is expected to rate this at 13 miles to the gallon city and 22 on the highway. Just one of the many nice things about this car is how the cockpit kind of envelops the driver. Everything is tilted towards the driver. The star of the show is the massive 8.4-inch Uconnect system. This controls everything, including music and mobile device integration, navigation with quick keyword search capability, climate control, as well as Wi-Fi hotspot setup and configuration of advanced safety features. Naturally, the screen also doubles as a backup camera when needed. Over here, we have a steering wheel that is big and leather wrapped with contrast stitching and tiny little paddle shifters, which aren't my favorite thing. I wish that it had real paddle shifters. Now, the reason they don't do that is because Chrysler family, they have these little push buttons behind the wheel to change your stereo. I, I kind of wish that on something like a Hellcat Red Eye, they could have gotten rid of that and given proper paddle shifters. That said, it does have them, they are metal, and they actually have a nice click to them. I just wish they were bigger. The gauge cluster features a lot of great options. Uh, it's a multicolor display, and it tells you everything from speed to uh, what your current engine status is, my trans temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, yada, yada, yada. It's got it. The back seat will fit small children, but there's not a lot of leg room. So if you want something with leg room, you should probably look at a Hellcat Charger because uh, this vehicle just is not going to fit anybody back there. This one also has a sunroof, although in my performance cars I prefer to not have a sunroof, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oh. To configure vehicle dynamics, just hit the SRT button. Up here in the SRT pages, we can control everything about this vehicle, and almost every feature can be enabled for it to be street, sport, or track mode. Track, of course, being the most aggressive. Uh, let's just go over what we have here. Power, 500 or 797. I think we'll keep it at 797, thank you very much. The transmission, let's go ahead and set that to track. Paddles, yeah, let's keep those on. Traction, let's go ahead and keep it on sport because we're driving on public roads, at least until we get out into the country. Suspension, eh, let's just go ahead and put it on track. 
steering, definitely track. It's really great how you can customize everything here. And then once we get into the great wide open, well, at that point, we can try out the launch control modes as well as the line lock. So let's buckle up and head out. Man, 797 horsepower. That's insane. Oh, oh man. In track mode, this thing's harsh. Yeah, you might want to not drive every single day in track mode, especially on these little country lanes. They can be um, a little bit of a tooth rattling experience. Oh, geez. Okay, we're going into street mode. Ah. With the flip of a virtual switch, the Hellcat Red Eye's three-way adaptive suspension changes from firm to soft to better deal with rough surfaces. Much better, much better. Oh man, you lay in the throttle, the sounds, the looks, everything about this car is just amazing. I, honestly, I don't know what else you can get for this much money that has this much attitude. Sure, you can get something that, you know, like a cheap Ferrari, or you could even buy an R8, granted a used one, uh, for about $90,000, but nothing is like this car. This car brings me back to that five-year-old version of me that just loves playing with cars. Granted, when I was five, they were Hot Wheels, but you know what I mean. So driving this car is very much like driving any other car. You just happen to have 797 horsepower at tap at will, which is kind of amazing. You know, driving this thing is really comfortable. It's remarkably comfortable, in fact. You got this pillow-topped seat. Uh, you have really comfortable seating position. Um, I can also have pretty good visibility out the front, although that rear three-quarter view is a little bit of a challenge because of that really thick C-pillar. Um, however, this is loaded with advanced safety stuff that helps me out. I have blind spot warnings, I have collision mitigation, uh, I even have rear backup with rear cross traffic alerts, which is really handy actually. The thing that I really like about the Hellcat series of cars is that unlike the Demon, you can actually have fun with them on windy roads. I mean, the Demon, it is a one hit wonder. And what it does, it does spectacularly. The Demon does have some extra stuff going for it. First off, it comes with drag radials from the factory, which is pretty amazing. It also has a trans brake. So if you really wanna do serious drag racing seriously fast, the Demon is the better choice. But when it comes to having well-rounded fun, you can't beat a Hellcat. <laughs> so I currently have the car in track mode, everything. And I mean, it's properly sprung. The turn-in is crisp. The power is, of course, abundant. I mean, it, it is a spectacular car. I have driven other versions of the Hellcat on the track, and I have to say they're actually really fun. It may not be the first car that you would pick for track duty, but it still can be fun. And if you're afraid of the 797 horsepower, you can always just, you know, leave the traction control on. And it's still fun to drive because you have multiple levels. I mean, if you're not comfortable getting a little bit of slip, you can go from track mode to, say, street mode. And it will keep things straight for you most of the time. This car is capable of many great things. I mean, it has launch control, uh, it has line lock, uh, but those are all buried in the SRT performance pages. So to go ahead and set up our line lock, all we do is we hit the SRT button, we then hit activate line lock control, and then we're ready to go for big smoky burnouts. And away we go. Woo! <laughs> oh, 
one more test to do here. This is launch control. It's the quickest way, zero to 60. So we're gonna go ahead and put that. Gas in and go. Whoa, holy 60. <laughs> Whoa. Let's see that again. And no, nope, yeah, right there, that's a second gear burnout. This car is amazing. <laughs> There's something about this type of a vehicle. When you drive a vehicle like this, it's easy to make bad decisions and to drive really, really in an antisocial way. Uh, you know those old Looney Tune cartoons where you have a little angel appear on one shoulder and a devil appear on the other shoulder. Well, in this car, yeah, the, just get rid of that angel. It's, it's all the devil over here telling you what to do. Driving in a straight line, sure, let's just stop and do a burnout, why not? True story, yesterday I was driving my kids around in this car and um, yeah, we did burn out in front of the mayor's house because it's a Hellcat Red Eye. Now, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just saying the car makes you do this stuff and you feel okay doing it, which is the crazy thing. This isn't just a car, this is therapy. <laughs> this has been the 500th YouTube episode of Driving Sports TV. Thanks for watching. Love it, hate it, Leave a comment and we'll see you again next week. If you're looking for a new car that seats up to four, has gorgeous leather interior, advanced safety, and can do zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds, well, you only have one choice. Always forget about the Stelvio. You only have two choices. What? Start over.